<laughs> Welcome back to TJIF with my favorite people in the world, Funky Dineva and Al Reynolds. Al, are you doing okay tonight? You I'm to barely here. I'm hanging on though. Y'all not gonna y'all not gonna knock me down. I'm We're just gonna, let's go. No. We're having a good time, and tonight's show is on fire. Speaking of fire, oh. Roland Ray had a major health scare this week. The wheelchair bound. Who wrote that? Hold on. <laughs> the disabilities people finna get you. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to be the wheelchair bound star was rushed to the hospital severe <laughs> burns after his wig caught on fire. Here's a portion of the video he posted while receiving care. I love y'all, and I want y'all to keep me in y'all prayers. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for Kay, Mrs. Scorpio, if it wasn't for him, I'd be dead right now. Oh, that's so bad. I didn't even want to come to work tonight because I was scared of this story. <laughs> and I saw one comment on my Instagram that said, so if you burn and you can't walk, can you basically just park inside at this point? <laughs> and I died. I, I died. And, and, and here's the thing, right? Because this is not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing and I'm not laughing at Ray. I'm, I'm oh God. And, 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 we and, shit and we're not mature enough to do this story. Wait I'm a minute. Did you enough. say, I just want to make sure I heard you correctly. Did you say if you are handicapped and burnt, can you park inside? At this point, right. <laughs> I mean, because it, it, have the people figured out yet how the wig caught fire? Did he roll past a candle? Or did was he smoking a cigarette? I mean, I'm just trying. Oh God! Did what he roll the- past? Did he roll past a candle? I mean, what in the awkwardness that hell was going on in that wig for it to catch fire? Well, it was synthetic. <laughs> so are we saying that human hair wigs save lives? <laughs> because okay. My thoughts and prayers are with Roland Ray and his family. Um, <laughs> and you want to know what the saddest part is? Why are we laughing? What's wrong with us? The saddest part about it is I did not know that his arms don't work. <laughs> on and so could you imagine that your head is on fire, but your head <laughs> go right here. And so you can't even get it all. And I think that's why the, the wig was melting on his arm. Um, face and stuff because his hand couldn't get it um and so good thing Scorpio was there to help him because not um Roland Ray might have been um dead Ray but they said that Saucy Santana is in Atlanta getting ready to perform his latest single Let It Burn for MLK Week that's just what the people said I really care we're gonna move on to the next story yeah because I We're not going to win. We can't win this segment. It was designed for us to fail. When I saw that story, I said, there's no way we're not mature enough to do this. (laughs) She looked like Miss Juicy. Wait, is that the the way? Girl, we are already in trouble. (laughs) Wait, (laughs) purr. What do you be saying? Purr. I love that purr. Oh my God. Wait. Oh, we gotta, okay. Um, Sorry. God forgive us. God, for, we ain't shit. We ain't shit. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. I know I'm not there. I have a lot of work to do. I'm not there. You're not there, Dineva, at all. We can't even talk. I don't even know why we thought this would be a good idea for us to talk about this. And okay. Al, let's move on. Let's go move on to someone else. That's okay. Purr. former nba player lamar odom is switching over to the sport of boxing oh no no this can't go well this this won't go well either y'all set us up with these stories lamar has reportedly signed a deal with celebrity boxing and has a fight scheduled for june but his opponent has not been selected or announced do you think (laughs) 
this bizarre publicity stunt is going to help Lamar or hurt him in the long run? And who would you like to see him fight? So I'm going to start with this one. So I think it's going to help him. Let me tell you something. Lamar Odom, over his, what, it was 13 years of playing in the NBA, made $146 million, according to his contract. But unfortunately, times are hard, and it's rough. It's rough for all of us out here. Number one, state unemployment benefits are being held up in every state. You don't stimulus like unemployment. Stimulus checks are being held, like only getting $600 out of 200, the 2000 that you thought you were. Lamar Odom got to do what he got to do, just like everybody else when you are on economic hardship. That's what I'm saying. So, heck yeah, this is going to help him. It's going to bring some money in his pocket. Think about it. You go from making $146 million to making not $146 million. You got to do what you got to do. But it wasn't that long ago that Lamar had that incident where he almost died in that brothel. He had some, some issues with mentally. And I, I'm a little concerned that it's too soon for all that. And he's older. Like, if I got him one time, I'll be done. Lamar he's older than Ben. He almost died a few years ago. He's going to get that check. I'm sure Lamar is also pretty smart. I mean, he's not going to do it for just a few dollars. I think he's going to do it for a significant amount of money. So what good is a, a check and you're going to be all messed up mentally? You're going to be in a wheelchair sitting next to Ray. No, I don't you think know, that. My, my, my whole thing is this, right? Because this, this really does feel like some has been i used to be somebody now i'm on marriage boot camp type of mess like that's what this feels like like lamar what are you doing and all, all that economic hardship bs you talking shut up if i had 146 million dollars at one point you best better believe 12 years later i'm gonna have 136 of that damn million left okay but would, no you, would you be taking a box would you be taking on a boxing stint to get some money no you wouldn't if you were able to keep i it. think he back on that stuff because this just don't make sense. There's a lot of other things he could go do. And think about it. I mean, what at best he's gonna get paid a million dollars for this fight. Lamar Odom is not up for a million dollars. Not once having 146. You, you can't smoke up that much damn crack. Listen, then why would he do it if he didn't need the money? Because he back on that stuff and he crazy. He crazy, he ain't in his right mind. Oh, I disagree. I, I think disagree. fame is a hell of a drug, and I think he's grasping for relevancy. Whether whether he's on the stuff or not, I think he's looking out for Allegedly. He needs money. You don't go from making 10 and $20 million a year, well, let's say 10 to $15 million a year, to not making that. You got to figure out how to feed yourself and feed your family and to live. And I think this Downsize. He's a big boy. It's hard. Y'all let me get $146 million. I can guarantee you my ass would never be broke. Matter of fact, y'all would never see my ass again. You wouldn't have to worry about me getting no more TV jobs, no internet jobs, no nothing. Because I'm going to go buy me a little piece of townhouse, a little piece of car, put my money in the bank, and set my ass down some damn where. That's a lie. Because every night we call you, you are at a bar somewhere drinking and having a good time and sleeping till 1 o'clock. So don't, don't, don't. No, no, no. Oh, oh, it's she's she's mad because she got to go to work and punch the clock. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I earned, I, earned, I earned mine honestly. That's correct. And okay. I use my brain. In the process. We're going to take a quick break, but Lamar, I don't think this is a good idea. Nate Robinson trained and played just a few years ago. You've been retired for a long time and you had that incident that happened in the brothel. I am afraid for you, for your health, and for your life if you get into a ring because. Again, Nate Robinson trained and he got knocked out and, and everybody made fun of him. And I don't think Lamar could afford that. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to be talking more trash when we come back. TJF, y'all out of control tonight. Y'all bad. <laughs> 